Shalom, brothers and sisters. The Texas Supreme Court has sided with the Christian judge who refused to officiate gay weddings. The Supreme Court of Texas ruled Friday in favor of Diane Hensley, a justice of the peace in Waco, reprimanded for not performing same-sex weddings, reinstating her lawsuit against the State Commission on Judicial Conduct. The commission had previously issued a public warning for her refusal to officiate same-sex weddings, citing a violation of judiciary impartiality based on sexual orientation. To ensure McLennan County residents can access low-cost wedding ceremonies after the U.S. Supreme Court made same-sex marriage a national right in 2015, Hensley invested extensive time and resources to compile a referral list of alternative local wedding officiants, according to First Liberty Institute. So basically what they're saying is they've got proof that when this law went into effect, she compiled a list of places that they can go that will allow that and officiate that. So here are alternative options for you to go get your same-sex wedding if you're faced with someone who cannot do it due to faith reasons like herself. The list included at least one option within walking distance of her office, which reduced the cost to the same amount Hensley received and who could do same-sex weddings in the same time frame. So there was someone within walking distance, reduced cost, everything that could do the wedding that they needed done. But they insisted to go to the believer and to challenge her faith and put her in a position to say, no, I'm not going to do it. And then she's in trouble with the law. Why do they do that? Because they're going after our faith. They're going after the Christians. They're going after what's right and just because we don't want to do it they want to make sure we suffer how is that part of your declaration of love that you want to make the judge or the officiant's life hell that's a good way to start your marriage isn't it that in itself shows you the fruit of this whole situation of the days of lot that's taking place around us right now crazy but again really happy for her that this has turned out the way it has but it shows you the world is gunning for, aiming for, and attacking us and our faith. Whether you've realized it or not before now, it is happening. And more so every day. Pray for everyone in the firing line and all of those that have experienced or are experiencing it firsthand. Shalom.